All right, what's up, boxing fans? It's Aztec 101. So let's talk about Clarissa Shields versus Vanessa Janice. I want to talk about this fight. I know I'm a little bit late on this, but I have a few things to say, a perspective to give, um, and I want to hear your guys' opinion on it. Uh, Clarissa Shields, uh, in my opinion, she impressed me in this fight. I got to be honest. I thought that, you know, the fight was one-sided to begin with. I knew that when it comes down to experience and skill, Clarissa Shields was a better fighter. But I've never seen Shields at heavyweight. So I'm a little bit, you know, kind of giving Vanessa Janice the benefit of the doubt that, you know, her size is going to make a difference. But then once I saw the weigh-in, um, you know, I, I felt there's no need to do a prediction video on this fight. Uh, Clarissa Shields looked great for the division. She physically, she looked great for the division. Um, it didn't look like uh, it, it really slowed her down too much. And it actually looks like it gave her power. We, she was able to get three knockdowns in the second round and had uh, Vanessa's corner by the second knockdown already on the ropes, ready to throw in the towel. I mean, we haven't really seen this kind of power from Shields. We've seen the technical boxing, but I think at this weight, Clarissa Shields is very dangerous. Um, now, the question is, is there enough competition to keep us entertained? And I think that there is some competition. There, there, There is some, but not enough. And that's unfortunate because uh, I think that if, if anything, probably her best division might be light heavyweight. With this fight, she was able to uh, win the WBC World Heavyweight title, the WBF World Heavyweight title, and the WBO World Light Heavyweight title. Now, there are there are some fighters that I think I think she should stay at light heavyweight. To be honest, there's some fighters I want to see see her fight. Not to say that they can beat her, but I think they'll give her different looks. I think that it'll help elevate the the division and women's boxing as a whole um and i think it's it's great to have these kind of fights if if, if she can really get a bunch of knockouts and make that division hot then hopefully we get some girls coming out of uh, the olympics to join you know these divisions because clarissa shields is there and and money is already starting to get funneled for these fights i think honestly i think that it, it's great her moving up to light heavyweight might spark something it may not though i know um there are you know boxing fans out there out there that are bringing up you know a very good point light heavyweight heavyweight is pretty much an empty division it's almost useless the champions don't get crowned because maybe you know a heavyweight you got what maybe four or five fighters you know fighting at one time and they're also fighting at light heavyweight and they're also competing at 168 now there are some girls that can't make 168 so they stay at light heavyweight and heavyweight but the, the, you know in the u.s we're not really getting too many shows um with heavyweight female boxers because the competition and the the talent isn't there but um and which is a very good point it's a very good point but at the end of the day i'm starting to see that 175 hey that that 175 those heavier you know just adding that much weight if it could take a girl with great boxing ability and give her power i mean let's let's see some of these girls that are at 168 move up to 175 let's see what happens they may become a lot more dangerous than they were at the you know their original weight um i want to see her against lanny daniels uh chad kennelly uh rosanna cox angelica lopez uh Shadesha green uh, i know savannah marshall uh just recently had a w in um, uh pfl and she looks great i mean she's got a lot of fucking power i can only imagine what she would look like at 175 um I like what I'm seeing. I don't know. I see a lot of people are, are they're, they're, I think they're, their heart's in the right place, right? You want to see something better, but maybe the solution isn't necessarily to eliminate those divisions. Maybe the solution is to just have a champion that everybody knows that's very popular 
hold on to the titles in those divisions and hopefully becomes a magnet for new talent. It's going to take time, obviously. But um, but if we can get some of these girls that are talented to, to, to move up, we, we might end up seeing some really good fights. Some really good high-level light heavyweight fights. Maybe heavyweight might be a, a, a division you can eliminate. But I think light heavyweight, 175, it, there's something about that weight class that you can get a girl that is, you know, um, uh, 5'9 to 6 feet tall. Um, and, and she can make that weight because she's carrying muscle plus fat. You know what I mean? And, and, and that weight itself is going to add to the power. I think we're going to get more exciting fights. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Uh, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Though. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, at the end of the day, congratulations to Clarissa Shields. Um, I, I agree with what she said. There's all these arguments about whether or not she's the quote. Uh, whether or not she labeled herself the quote, I guess the point is, if you want to be the greatest woman of all time, then beat her. <laughs> and I like that. I, I like that energy. Then come and fight me and beat me. I like that energy. You know, boxing fans are always going to debate who the best is. We're always going to debate who the best is, uh, greatest of all time. Always, you know, people always have different answers, and um, I think that, you know, we're we're okay with Muhammad Ali calling himself the greatest. You know what I mean? When when fighters, when male fighters, they go and they call themselves the greatest. You know, I could only imagine that someone like Clarissa Shields, she probably looked up to these fighters. It's okay for her to do the same thing for herself in the women's division and say that she's the best female fighter of all time. It's okay. It's okay. And it's perfectly fine for fighters to feel offended and to go, fuck you. I'm going to beat your ass and go fight her. Take that title away from her. <laughs> I like the energy. I hope I hope that, um, that she stays active. Stays active. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think. This is Aztec 101 in the ring, and I'm out.